two men in their 20s have died after a light aircraft crash just outside York. Police, fire crews, paramedics and the air ambulance attended the scene in the village of Thorgenby between York and Selby this morning. The two-seater aeroplane crashed in a rural field, killing the pair who are believed to be the pilot and passenger. Police say they've launched a full investigation. Elsewhere, officers are asking the public to check their CCTV footage following reports of a woman being sexually assaulted by a man wearing a hoodie and a medical-style face mask. Officers say the woman was grabbed on a footpath in the wooded area near Battleton Beck in Ingleby Barwick on Friday afternoon. Cleveland Police says it set up a portal for the public to upload any relevant footage. People are being urged to remain vigilant around water during the summer holidays. Emergency services held rescue demonstrations throughout the day on the River Tyne on the Newcastle Gateshead Quayside to raise awareness of water safety today. Crews, including the fire service and police, were also on hand to provide their advice. We know, sadly, that many people lose their lives due to drowning each year. We just want people to go out, have a fantastic time, do what they need to do, but again, want to come home at the same time. And if we don't get the difficulty, which can easily happen, get the organised messages, the float to live message. And it's so, so simple. All we need to do is fight our instincts, lie on our back, spread our arms and legs out like a starfish, and we will float. Now, the Duchess of Northumberland has been made a dame by King Charles, the dame of Jane Percy, who led, of course, the redevelopment of the Alec Garden, received the honour for her service as the Lord Lieutenant of Northumberland from 2009 until May this year. After several days of song, dance and theatre, the Durham Fringe Festival is hosting its final performances for the time being today. The event which is funded by grants and donations, has been a yearly fixture of the city's Palace Green since 2021. This year saw a 33% increase in visitors who came along to watch a variety of performers. We've had 90 shows uh, in eight different venues, ranging from very small theatres to uh, marquees on the uh, lawn. And with, in terms of the nation shows, we've had kid shows um, with wonderful engagement and entertainment. We've had musicians of all kinds of varieties. Finally from me, a 10-year-old boy and his teammates have played a special football match in Sunderland as part of fundraising efforts for the Bradley Lowry Foundation. The foundation was set up to help sick children in memory of six-year-old Bradley from County Durham who died from a rare form of cancer in 2017. With the story is Johnny Blair. A match in memory of Bradley. Ten-year-old Isaac O'Connor's team is playing Sunderland Academy's under-11s. It's a game organised by one football fan, inspired by another. It's quite special because a young boy that died from cancer, and, it, and he, like, that could have been anyone. Like, that, that could have even been me. That could have been anyone. So, yeah, it's just a lovely thing to, to be fundraising for them. And, yeah, it's so special to me. Isaac is a prolific fundraiser. He and his team are from Liverpool. This match is happening as part of their challenge to visit 20 Premier League clubs in just three days. Money raised goes to the foundation. It's absolutely amazing to see young children wanting to get involved with fundraising. So Isaac's been doing fundraising for a lot of years and he's raised well over £25,000 for various charities. So to have him come on board and support the Bradley Lowry Foundation for us, it's an absolute pleasure to have him on board. He's just a very caring boy, he wants to help people and it really struck a chord with him. Obviously the football connection with Bradley, um, Isaac's a big, you know, Manchester United's his band and goes all the games and he's just a big football fan so he uses football as a way of generating happiness for other people. Isaac's team's challenge continues tomorrow and Tuesday, but today is a game no one here will forget. Johnny Blair, ITV News. It's a brilliant way to remember young Bradley. That is pretty much it for now. Emma, though, is coming up next with your weather prospects, but for more of the team here, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Bye-bye for now.